A New Jersey man is battling a rare bacterial infection that he got while crabbing in South Jersey last week. Angel Perez of Millville is being treated with antibiotics, but doctors say they may have to amputate all of his limbs. Doctors are now warning people to avoid the ocean and bay waters when it's warm if they have open wounds. But this new infection is not the only danger lurking beneath the waves. Monica Guy has the story on the return of the jellyfish. Monica, what do you got? Phil, I'm not going to disagree with you. I am pretty brave because right now lurking in the Atlantic Ocean are stinging, clinging jellyfish. The Department of Environmental Protection is warning swimmers that jellies are hitting the beaches along Monmouth County. In fact, two swimmers have felt their raft getting stung so badly that they ended up in the hospital. Dr. Stephanie Reynolds is a doctor at Riverview Medical Center. She's been treating jellyfish injuries for several years. She told me that they are nothing to mess with. You can get swelling in the body, difficulty breathing, chest pain, and eventually circulatory collapse and death. So that's why it's so important to get to an emergency room and let us, the experts, determine if you need advanced treatment or not. It is unusual for clinging jellyfish to hit the Atlantic Ocean. They're typically found in the Pacific. So how do you know the difference between a clinging jellyfish and the standard Jersey Shore variety? And listen to your mom, she was right. Don't go near those orangey red jellyfish. They have the venom in them. The DEP says if you think you found a clinging jellyfish, don't touch it, take a picture of it, and send it to their email address. You can find it on our Facebook page. Reporting for Chasing News, I'm Monica Guy. Bill?